So Juvia's Place just launched her brand new palette. This is it right here. This is called The Coffee Shop. This is an extension of this one, which is a cult favorite, The Chocolates by Juvia's. If you guys remember this, this one is just one of those beautiful palettes that have the gorgeous, deep, you know, chocolate colors. If you guys want a good smoky eye, this is the one you go for. But now, this one has 16 pans. It has these exact same six shades in it, but 10 more for us to play with. So this is it right here. Love this. It's, the shimmers in here look amazing and there's a lot of mattes, which of course, a Juvia's Place matte, there is nothing better. It is fabulous. I honestly thought that these would be so much more warmer in the pan, but now that I have them here, I can swatch a couple of these for you guys. Again, super pretty colors, love that. They are warm, but they pull more on the cooler side. So I'm actually really impressed with these, you know, browns and beiges. From the look of the palette online, I did think it would be so much more warm toned, but I'm really glad because I'm more of a blue toned girl myself. So I really think I can wear this and pull this off. You probably can too. So let's dive right into this. I'm gonna create some really amazing looks for you guys. To start, I'm gonna pick up this shade right here and place it down in the center of your crease, working your way to the inner corner all the way to the outer corner, really deepening up that transition shade. Next, with the same brush, I'm going to tap into this beautiful vanilla color right here. Just tap that off and just place that color right there above that transition just to brighten up that part of the lid. Now, I'm going to tap into this color in the top left corner of the palette. It's a beautiful brick color. Again, tap that off. Place that color down in the center of your lid, working your way to the outer corner, really concentrating on the outer corner because we're going to buff that out with a clean blending brush, really smoking out that outer corner. Now with a clean brush, I'm gonna go into one of these deep dark browns. This one right here, second from the left at the bottom, we're gonna tap into that. Tap that off because you don't want any fallout. I'm concentrating on the lower lash line to really deepen it up but I'm also creating an enlarged V shape in the outer crease, really deepening it up to smoke out that eye for a very dramatic look. Now with the exact same blending buffing brush, we're just going to literally just buff and blend in small circular motions in that V area that we just created to really smoke out that eye and give a dramatic look and a lift to the eye. With a clean ring finger, pick up some of this shimmer shadow. That right there looks phenomenal. The shift is amazing. Just lay down that shimmer as close to the inner corner as you can get with your ring finger and just tap it on lightly. And then of course we're going to blend it out with a blending brush. This is a clean blending brush. It's a very tapered on the end and it's really gonna get in there and blend. Once completely blended, we're going to add liner and lashes. Unfortunately, this palette doesn't have anything that would be like an appropriate inner corner highlight. There is this one right here. Maybe I should try that one. Let's go in with this one right here. I'm going to take just a little pencil brush. I'm just going to pick that up. I want a good amount of product. Tap that off. I'm just going to apply that on my inner corner. Okay, that is really pretty that just makes that look pop wow i love that so this is the final look for a palette that is 26 dollars. this is amazing and it blends out so well juvia's place never disappoints when it comes to formula it always is high pigmented amazing shimmers and it lasts it does not fade on you it's never patchy and i usually don't get any fallout and i did not get any fallout today so that is a really amazing thing the formula especially this one right here absolutely stunning this color again love it now i did play with this prior to filming and i tried out a whole bunch of different looks this is the shimmer i used on my eyes today i have to say though this one is also super amazing and if you want a really fun gunmetal kind of eye for new year's this is the shadow that I would recommend. Love that. Sound off in the comments below. I want to know what this palette reminds you of. For me, it is the Natasha Denona 
mini nude palette which is this one right here this is the original one obviously it's crusty i did use this one a lot it's one of my faves from her for a mini palette she just relaunched this palette actually i feel like the color story is exactly the same you do get a brush with it but i feel like the formula in the new version is just a little bit different than this one but this palette from juvia's place this feels like a continuation of this palette from natasha Honestly, I love the color story. I think it's got that warm but cool vibe to it. The colors are all stunning. Beautiful, buttery, gorgeous, and zero fallout from the shades I tried. It is stunning. Definitely one I would recommend that you guys run out and pick up. That being said, I just checked the website and it's join the wait list. Of course, it's sold out. So if you guys can get your hands on it, definitely do so. I love it and you guys will too. If you loved this video, definitely smash that like button. It helps me out and subscribe to the channel so you guys don't miss when I drop a new one. All right, guys, until next time, live, love, and lip gloss. Bye.